Are you sick of tacos that are all ego? That are like, look at me, look at me, like I'm so much better than you. Ugh. They're the worst, Jordy, they're the worst. Ugh. Ugh. Try this place instead. It's Humble Taco in Greenwood. This is Around the South Side. All right, so Johnny Humphrey, operating partner. Uh, super excited to be with you. Tell me a little bit about the story of how Humble Taco came to be. Absolutely, so John and Laura Gladish, uh, owners of Humble Taco Margarita Bar, also the same owners of Tread and Chew Ale House. Okay. Um, that opened up in 2017. Um, John, back in his day, actually worked for Chi Chi's. Um, oh, and when yeah. He, when he started to, uh, when, he, when he first knew he wanted to open up a restaurant, uh, he knew that one of the one of the ideas that he had was that he wanted to open a Tex-Mex restaurant. Okay. Um, and here we are. Yeah. Um, so when they went to open up Tried and True, you know, that was still, uh, their initial vision was to open up a Tex-Mex restaurant. Um, but for the location, that building, that's where they decided, yes, Tried and True would be a better fit um, yeah. with, that, with that style of concept in that space. Sure. Um, once, uh, this location became available. Instantly, they already knew that that's what they want to do here it's was the taco place. Tacos. It's on. Yeah. <laughs> so the name Humble Taco. What is that? Tell me about that. So Humble Tacos I actually got the name from uh, Tim McGraw, Humble and Kind. Oh, okay. So driving down and they're trying to think of names for uh, this concept, and Humble and Kind came on, and it just clicked for them. Do you have to like country music to come dine here? Because if so we might have issues, I don't know. I'm assuming that's optional. Absolutely not. So let's talk about the menu. You guys have a lot of signature humble tacos that are, I mean, all over the place. Whatever you like, there's, there's like in a good way, there's, there's an option for all kinds of different things. Tell me about some of, the, some of the things that you have. Absolutely, so we have 12 signature tacos on the menu. Um, we also have a weekly taco feature that rotates every week. Nice. Um, we have a regular protein option and a veggie protein option. Um, and we have that same variety on the signature tacos as well. Um, so far, some of the, the hits have been, uh, let's see here, we have the No BS, um, which is beef, beef short rib. It's actually named after uh, two of our managers here, Braden and Sam. Oh, nice. And then actually our, our other one for our director of operations, uh, Willie Good Taco. That, uh, that one, awesome one I hot. saw that, Willie Good Taco <laughs> is so good. I actually think that one looks really good too. What it, What is your favorite taco on the menu here? So I'm a breakfast guy, so I love okay. the brec breakfast taco for sure all day. <laughs> yeah, breakfast taco, there you go. And as you can see, so it's not just tacos. Um, we do have appetizers salads um, on this side we do have dinners and then um, also we have fajitas it's almost like you know anytime i think of fajitas i always think of chilies yeah um, when when you when they send those out of the kitchen you hear them sizzling coming right. out of the kitchen so it's it's always a showstopper when you're walking by smoke slamming off of those fajitas you right. hear them sizzling you go to set them down on the table so you said tex-mex what oh, tell me the difference between tex-mex and just mex for us, What's so, the Tex part of Tex Mex? <laughs> so just non-traditional. Okay. Um, very non-traditional. You know, we there's we have some great local uh, Mexican restaurants in the area. Sure. And you know, we didn't want to we didn't want to be like everybody else. We yeah. knew we wanted to be different. So um, we put our own um, funky flair on uh, the taco world. So. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I mean, you know, when I was at Tried and True, I played Chubby Bunny yeah. with French fries. <laughs> Do you think that? I could play Chubby Bunny with tacos too. You probably need tacos or we've got another option for you. Oh, nice. So we have our um, border balls, which are actually like a chorizo cheddar Ooh. rice corn fritter. Oh, wow. Jordy, we're gonna play Chubby Bunny with the border balls. It'll be great. Talk me through the margarita menu. This is very exciting. Absolutely. So obviously um, every Mexican restaurant, every Tex-Mex restaurant, um, even tried and true, they have their signature margarita. Sure. Ours here is our humble margarita. Okay. We uh, use Luna Azul Blanco Tequila. Um, instead of just a regular triple sec, we actually use Hotel Tango Orange Cello, nice. which is a local distillery. Sure. Um, very good quality there. And all of our margaritas are made with fresh squeezed lime juice wow. and agave. Um, so that it. one, so humble margarita, that's our bread and butter. Um, very great margarita. You can add flavors to it. My favorite version is the spicy version where we put uh, fresh Ooh. jalapenos in there. Oh, nice. There you go. Nice, that'll um, be good. And then we have 10 other signature margaritas as well. 
And then we don't have just margaritas, so on this side we actually have um, cocktails, which actually um, we built the menu based off of uh, different classic cocktails, just yeah. using tequila um, oh. as a spin on a lot of them. I gotcha. So, That's cool. Um, and it looks like, too, you guys, you actually have like some outdoor covered seating for when the weather's a little bit nicer, too, right? That'll be yeah. nice. Absolutely. So the, we're working on, we've been working on everything on the inside since uh, October. Uh -huh. uh, now we're going to start getting the patio ready for patio season here in a couple weeks. Love and, it. Uh, uh, you know, Indiana weather, as long as, as, long as it's uh, on time, we'll be, we'll be good to open that puppy up in a couple weeks. So. Nice, man. I love it. Jordy and I, first timers, we're going to eat. What, what should we get? What, I mean, obviously we already said border yep. balls is happening. Some border balls, definitely queso. Okay. Um, a couple of the signature tacos. Okay. You always have to save room for dessert in my opinion. Oh yeah? Uh, so we have a key lime shimmy cheesecake, uh, shimmy, and then a gas station choco taco. Okay. So it's on, man. Yep, it's it on. It is on. Cool. Well, Johnny, thanks man. Thank Appreciate you. your time. Appreciate it. We're excited to eat. Okay, so the border balls are the thing we're gonna try Chubby Bunny with. It feels like a mistake. Here they are right here, uh, and they've got their own sauce, and they're gonna be good. It is good. Chubby Bunny. Let's go. That's one. One. Two. Chubby Bunny. One keep, more. Keep going. One more. It's hot. Do it for the gram. <laughs> is that it? No, no, no. That's really good. Don't play Chubby Bunny with them, though. <laughs> All the food is here. Oh my Surf and gosh. turf. Look at this. This is a fried chicken taco with like potatoes and stuff. This is the Willy Good Taco, which is just a fantastic name for a taco. Jordy, you got some. You got some. What did you get, Jordy? Let's see. I got the no BS tacos. Yes. And then something called the HTQ. Boom. Like super barbecue hot amazingness tacos. Yes. And the queso is really good. Oh yeah. And uh, I think we're pretty happy overall. Woo! This is awesome. Going surf and surf, Jordy. Let's go. One big. What do you think? Very very good. Yeah. Very very good. Okay, here we go. Whoa! It went everywhere. Whoa, girl. Oh, that was good, Jordy. That was good, right? So good. So good. That's, I mean, that's my whole outro. That was really, really good. Uh.